Hi guys, if you're a regular subscriber to this channel you know that now and again I do reviews but only really for stuff that interests me and stuff I want to build. And the other day Banggood contacted me and asked me if I wanted to review um, the new Cadex Turtlet or Turtle, whichever name they're currently going with. Um, and as I've been playing around with the 3 inch quads um, and I've got a couple of potential four inches that I'm going to be playing around with. I thought it'd be quite an interesting thing to have a look at. Um, historically, I was really excited when Runcan came out with the first version of the split because at the time I was flying a lot of three and four inch super lights um, and I absolutely loved the idea of it. However, I came to hate them um, because of this ribbon connector, which is quite stiff and ended up always disconnecting or having um, errors in the worst possible um, places. I actually lost a quad um, flying this. So I stopped using the run cam split um, and never went back to it, even on the, the newer versions. Um, so I thought I'd kind of have a look at the Cadex. This isn't going to be a particularly in-depth review about the specs or anything like that. There's, there are plenty of um, videos out there on those it's really going to be more about what i can get this little guy um, to do so what we've got here is a micro sized um, camera if you compare it to sort of a run cam swift you can see it's pretty much identically sized shares pretty much the same mounting pattern and is pretty much the same width and length if you line the boards up but the one interesting thing on this is if you look at most FPV cameras you've obviously got a little bit of rounding to the actual lens um, which causes a little bit of distortion um, whereas this lens is pretty much completely flat and they're saying this is a 170 degree field of view for um, the HD recording and I'm not sure um, I've read 155 degrees um, FPV feed but I noticed on Banggood in the actual listing it says 145 degrees so I'm not sure um, exactly what that is but you know the score if you've been in the hobby um, this little guy can do 1080p um, 60 frames per second um, it can also do 1080 30 frames per second and 720 um, as well and it's very similar to the run cam split mini um, we've got this little board um, with an SD card slot we've got a little button here which are used to um, go through the menus etc um, and it's a nice compact little 20 by 20 mil um, board the one quirk of it is obviously you've got your normal 20 by 20 holes here just notice that this one is off-centered um, so you need to be a little bit creative about how you uh, how you mount this but basically it comes with this um, i've cut the little connector off here it came with a little um, three pin connector which doesn't connect to anything that i have so i've just cut it off obviously you've got your osd um, little dongle um, you get an extension lead for the dongle and you get a little cadex um, osd um, board to change the settings you get a little um, little mount and you get various screws um, an allen key um, and a few of these little spacers if we can get one out little metal spacers yeah, you can probably see them there little tiny metal spacers um, a few slightly more unusual things about this it comes with two of these little PCB um, style um, boards um, which look like they're made out of um, fiberglass and then coated um, but you see these allow you to basically create a 30.5 flight controller style stack and they're also perforated on the edges so if you don't want the 30.5 you can use them um, and just break the edges off and, and use it in your 20 by 20 stack and I re this one I really like actually because if you notice it fits nicely um, around the connector and should allow for pretty easy mounting and on a few of the 
um, photographs I've seen, it looks like you can take this little back plate off and if you wish to do so, kind of create a bigger camera by mounting these boards like so. So that's kind of pretty much it. I think this films natively in 16.9 and they added in to my knowledge 4.3 later on which crops the image but I might be wrong about that but when I got it mounted in the quad I'll, I'll show you some some DVR um, and obviously some HD footage and we can see what this little guy um, will do but first impressions I really like it the one thing I particularly like which I didn't think I would do is this wire connector um, which is lots of filaments of wire and I've just basically put a little bit of um, tape or something around it to keep them together and the reason why I like this is even though it, it looks really fragile it's so soft that unlike um, this thing which you kind of ended up having to sort of shove and force and sometimes end up damaging this connector you don't really have to do that with this guy um, it's about three and a half inches long or so um, and because it's so soft you can pretty much mount this guy without any issues um, and you're not really p ever putting any strain on either of the connectors so it bodes well for um, the lifespan um, obviously it can take up to a 64 gig um, card but yeah I think you know there's nothing particularly new here bar the make your own camera bits um, I'm more interested in how it performs so the idea is to stick it on my little three inch quad and then I'll take it out um, and fly it and do some um, additional bits and I'll put these hopefully on the next part of this video right slight change of plan um, I was going to put the uh, the turtle in one of my three inch quads but I'm having some issue with the flight controller so on a whim I decided to put it into my Hyperlaw RS which is no longer a hi uh, hyper low it's now a hyper tall um, so basically all I've done is I've used one of the plates that it comes with um, I've just filed out because um, the plate itself is for M2 um, screws and I'm using M2 and a half I think in here so I've just increased them slightly um, so all I've basically done is sat it on the existing standoffs um, and then attached it with double-sided 3M foam tape. Um, other than that, the um, Unify is powering the Turtle, um, giving it 5 volts, and obviously I've just connected the um, video out uh, wire to the video out wire uh, to the video out pad on the Matic 411 Mini, uh, which has got I think a 2 or a 3 amp um, 5 volt back. Um, so it's going to have no issues powering this guy. So what I'm going to do now, um, as I said, it's pretty straightforward. A couple of things I need to mention. Um, there's no SD card. Uh, I'm sorry, there's no USB port, obviously, on this little guy. And there is no um, microphone, so there's no audio. Although if you if you use a Runcam split or a Runcam 3, the audio is so hideously bad. Um, you wouldn't really want to use it anyway the only thing i would say is you want to turn on auto recording in the settings because this button is quite hard to access it doesn't really sit proud um, of the actual board itself so um, it's quite difficult to uh, to press it i've checked the firmware and mine comes with the 1.1 edition which is the updated one um, i did flash it just to uh, to make sure that there wasn't a, a newer update but 1.1 is uh, is where we where we are right now um the original firmware which was um firmware one um had a pretty low rate um a pretty low bit rate so um so yeah this just increases the bit rate so it should give it slightly better um image quality so yeah so i'll show you the flight footage and obviously the menus etc